A three-digit code for certain locks uses the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, according to the following constraints. The first digit cannot be 0 or 1. The second digit must be 0 or 1. And the second and third digits cannot both be 0 in the same code. How many different codes are possible? The first thing to notice here is, so what we want to do here is notice that the second digit is forced to be 0 or 1. So I'm going to start out by locking the second position as 0, which means that that's one possibility. Now the first digit cannot be 0 or 1, so I'm going to say it's not 0, it's not 1. And out of the 10 possibilities, that leaves us 8. And then the third situation cannot be 0 if the second one is 0. So that here, given that the second one is 0, cannot be 0 as well. So that leaves 9 possibilities. And so all I have to do to figure out the number of possibilities if we have 0 in the middle to multiply these three numbers together, which gives 72. Now if we look at the situation where we have 1 locked in the middle, that leaves us no possibility of 0 in the first place, no possibility of 1 in the first place. So again, we have 8. There's, of course, one possibility for 1. And then there's going to be 10 possibilities, because we can have any one of the digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's nothing restricted here. So all we have to do is multiply these three numbers together, and that's the possibilities for having a code with not 0 or 1 in the first place, 1 in the second place, and any number in the third place. So that's 80 possibilities. And all we have to do to get the answer is just add, because it's one code or the other. And the or always means add or b. So your answer is 152 or b.